Hey, what's up guys, Synapse here, and this is another behind the scenes video on the Soda Poppin' intro. I'm going to be making some behind the scenes videos for each one of the scenes of this video. There were a lot of scenes and it took a lot of time. I used a number of different techniques to make this one happen. So let's take a look at the dark portal scene. Uh, this one is probably my favorite scene in the whole intro because I recreated the entire dark portal scene from World of Warcraft. First thing I did was I went to Cinema 4D and I used an older version of World of Warcraft along with Machinima Studio to extract all of the parts of this scene. I have a link on my website uh, if you want to use an old version of WoW along with Machinima Studio to export the world. You can also use the new WoW model viewer, uh, but WoW model viewer can sometimes have errors uh, when downloading the world. And here's what this scene looks like in Cinema 4D. It's a pretty huge scene, to be completely honest. Uh, there's a lot of different objects in here, uh, from these little crates to the broken down wagon. This is a true 3D scene, and you can see Soda Boppin's name is just kind of floating right there next to the dark portal. And it's completely animated as well, from the camera to the rotating dark portal. The lighting in this is pretty intricate. Uh, I spent a lot of time just focusing on the lighting. There's some purple lighting. If you go to the dark portal, take a look at the lighting, like on the mountains and stuff. So what we did was, during the stream, we all logged into World of Warcraft, and we took a look at what the colors look like, what kind of objects are down here, and what you can do is try to notice the difference in the objects I used compared to the objects that are in the game. And I did use uh, Mists of Pandaria to get these models. And so the Warlords of Draenor models are slightly different. But did you even notice that when you were watching it? So if you did, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, then no big deal because it wasn't meant for you to notice anyway because the main focus of the scene is the name and the cool camera angles that we did. So after we get it out of 3D and into After Effects, this is what it looks like. I also added some lens flares to the scene. There's lots of things going on in this scene that give it color, bring it to life, and really make it look above and beyond what you would normally see in World of Warcraft. So in the 3D scene, I learned a new plugin called Krakatoa for the particles. And I just had this idea that I needed to see a lot of particles coming out of the dark portal. Uh, it would have been amazing if I could just somehow get some particles to work. And I had a difficult time because there's so many particles here. There's millions of particles here. When I used the built-in particle system, it took a long time. It would probably still be rendering right now. Uh, but with Krakatoa, I could break out a particle system really quickly and overlay that into the scene. So the particles actually just look like this. This is what the scene looks like without the particles. And then I take the particles and I overlay it onto the scene. And that's what it looks like. I can toggle on and off some of the other color grading and lens flares. So it looks much more plain, but it still looks cool. And then I can add them back in, and that's the final color grade. I did a few different scenes. This was a cool scene because Soda Poppin's name was dissolving. How I pulled this off was I used a lot of bullies or bullions in Cinema 4D. The text just simply fades away by some animated bullies. And here you can see I just attached some particles to the moving element of the scene and you can see the name just dissolves. And again, I use Krakatoa for this, make everything else go away. So you just see the text and I might even be able to get the text to go away. Yeah, so here you just see the particle formation. And all I have to do is overlay this onto the After Effects scene, add some additional brightness on here on the edges and glitchy effects, always seeking inspiration from directors like JJ Abrams. Don't make fun of me. He's a genius. This scene was really cool. You know, I really had an appreciation for the 3D modeling done on the dark portal. So I wanted to zoom in to try to get a new shot that maybe we have not considered before. And the snake seemed like a really good shot. So here again, I just used the 3D camera to pan around the snake. And I added a lot of particles to make it seem like there's a lot of energy back there. Check out this camera angle. Holy smokes. The snake looks so good. And I think I also added uh, some additional mesh points onto the snake. You can see I added a subdivision surface onto it to give it a little bit more rounding. And for this particular scene, I added some ambient occlusion, but I did not use global illumination. Just took too long to render. And the difference wasn't all that noticeable, but with ambient occlusion, you can definitely see how the shadows 
bring out the depth of the eyes and the mouth area. So definitely some AO made this scene look super cool. I got another scene that shows the shovel. It was the recommendation of the Soda Poppin viewers. So Soda Poppin, Soda Poppin bombed my stream in a big way and he gave the stream a host while I was making it. And so a lot of Soda Poppins guys came into my stream and they gave me some feedback about what they wanted to see in this intro. And of course, one of the things that came up was a shovel. So I thought, I bet I can replace the sword with the shovel in the scene. And that's exactly what I did. I came into Cinema 4D, I took out the sword and replaced it with that shiny shovel. I think it looks hilarious. Definitely like a very funny part, I think. I wanted to have this uh, the sword transitioning into the shovel. Back to Krakatoa to add some particles. And all I did was I just took one scene that had the sword, one that had the shovel, and I added some Krakatoa particles to it to give it that effect. But the sword was transforming or dissolving into the shovel. So check that part out in the intro. See if you notice. Let me know what you think. So that's pretty much it for this scene. If you want to download some of the Dark Portal files, I have those available for my website members. And if you're a subscriber on my Twitch channel, you also get membership to my website for downloads and behind the scenes content. So go see what that's all about and uh, become a subscriber or a member. Being a Twitch subscriber and being a website member helps to support the stream and support that content creation. So thanks for that, guys. All right, guys, that's it for this video. You guys drive the content for this channel. So if you like this video and you learned something, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Good luck and have fun.